Thank you. Paul Hawken is under the weather. I'm not Paul Hawken. But he sends his warm wish wishes and especially wishes for blessed unrest to arise in our midst. I will speak on Gandhi, King, and the Earth Charter. But I would first like to suggest that the movement that we're feeling tonight and that we felt in the opening night of the opera Satyagraha is a long term commitment to urgent and radical change. But if Philip Glass opera took more than 10 years to write, to think about, if it took 30 years to come into its moment here in our midst in this extraordinary production, and if the message of that opera, that Gandhi was 20 years in birthing this truth force. We too are peoples of decades long transformation. For King picked up this message decades later, weaving it with the wisdom of Thoreau and other great thinkers. And that wisdom is moving now from a truth force to a vital force, a vital force for earth transformation. For Gandhi's message, what would it be today for climate change, for species loss, for pollution, for refugees from environmental degradation around the world? What would his message be? What would his salt march be? Would it call us to march day and night, to walk the talk all the way to New Orleans? Would it call us to that march? Would it call us to be in solidarity with the peoples of the planet who are marginal, who are losing? their voice? Would it call us to a new understanding of salt and coal? Would we hold coal in our hand and say, as Jim Hansen does now, this is no longer sustainable? To take this great compost of the earth and blast it into the atmosphere is causing all species to tremble under the effect. For we are changing as Gandhi and King knew. We are changing not only the atmosphere, but the water, the land, the soil. And we are at the most critical moment in human history. If we are a species of 150,000 years on a planet of 4.5 billion years of evolution, are we going to claim our truth force, our homo sapiens vital force? And where will that vital force come from? from a universe unfolding 14 billion years in the making of complexity and consciousness and beauty and mystery in which we dwell now. And as we respond to that beauty and that mystery, as Gandhi did in his dark night, in his struggle, we will create a new moment for Satyagraha, for the force of truth and power to be known, to be told, to be held, to be struggled with. And one of the gifts of this movement of Satyagraha unifying social change and ecological change is the Earth Charter 
born of a 10-year struggle out of the Earth Summit in Rio in 92, negotiated over three years with millions of people weighing in their voices, their points of view. And the Charter holds this vital force together in its prologue, which says, we are part of a vast, evolving universe. Earth itself is alive with a unique community of life. And the Charter holds this triune sense of the future, which is now in our hands, a future where the ecological integrity of the ecosystems are our home, are our best source of life, not resource, but source of life. Ecological integrity is the bottom foundation of everything, and mixed into that in the Charter is social and economic justice. The human aligns with the movements of the earth. And finally, in the Charter, the Gandhian principle of nonviolence, democracy, and peace, which came into the mix through Kamala Chowdhury out of India, this deep sense for nonviolence and democratic institutions that would make possible the future. This is the vital force of the legacy of Gandhi, of King, and of all future generations who are here present with us asking for that vital force of the universe, the earth, and the human community to go into the future as one sacred community. Thank you.